All right, so let's start with some of the basics. How many degrees are in a right angle? Okay, obviously we know that. So if I'm looking at north, east, south, and west, how many, Kanye? What? Oh, geez, all right. Um, all right, so if I have quadrants, how many degrees are between each? Right, so aren't they all 90? Yeah. So that means if I'm going, so sometimes they're giving you instructions based on words rather than numbers. If they say, I go on a bearing east, what they mean is 90 degrees, right? Because if they're saying, so if you're saying I'm going on a bearing of south, you're always going from north. So if you go south, how many degrees are you going? 180, right? So every time they give you a direction, it actually means a number. So just make sure that you recognize that, you know, Directions are actually information. They're not just saying you head vaguely in a left direction. They're actually giving you bearings. They're giving you information. So there are two ways that we can talk about directions. If that's north and this, uh, actually, let's make an actual thing. All right. So if I say that this bit here is four, oh, no, it's not. That's really inaccurate. Let's say that this is uh, 30. All right, if I say that this bit is 30 degrees, there are two different ways that I can discuss this bearing here. One, is that the easiest way to do it? All right, I'm going to skip that and I'm going to come back to it. Wow, that's a really straight line. All right, let's say that this is 60 degrees. Okay, so let's do this one first. It'll be easier. So what I'm going to do is say I'm going from north and I'm going 60 degrees towards the east, okay? So that is one way I can describe that directional bearing, right? So I'm going from north, 60 degrees towards the east. For this one over here, I'm actually closer to south than I am to north. So I actually have to start at south. So you only ever start from north or south, you never start from east or west, okay? So if I'm going from south, which direction am I going from south? <laughs> I'm going towards the east, aren't I? I'm going in this direction, right? So what's this bearing, what's this angle here? How do you know it's 60? Because right, this is 90, that's 30. So this is 60. So south, 60 degrees east. Now there is another way that I can talk about angles. And it's mainly what we're going to deal with today. It's called bearings. Bearings always, regardless, go from the north. And they always, so they go from the north and they always go clockwise. So in this case, I am going 0, 60 degrees. Because I must use three numbers and I'm always going from the north. So in this case over here, I'm interested in this angle here because I'm always going from the north around clockwise. So how many degrees am I going from north? 120, right? Because this is 90 and I went an extra 30. So this is 120 degrees. All right, so let's have a look at another one. What if I, uh, let's do that. And this can be 50 degrees. How many degrees are in a circle? 360. So if this is 50, how far do I want to go around? 310, right? So all I'm doing is taking 50 off my 360 circle. So this is 310 degrees. Okay. All right. What if here I said that this was 15 degrees? How far? What's my bearing here? Five. 195. Because don't I have to go from north all the way around here? Straight line is 180 and an extra 15. So this is 195 degrees. You see what I'm doing? All right, so bearings are relatively simple. We're always going from the north and we're always going clockwise. Now what we can do is use some angle information, bless you. What we can do is use some angle information that we have to combine a couple of skills. So let's use that idea. Yeah. All right, so it doesn't matter where I draw my north line. <coughs> They're always north, right? If I just draw upwards from wherever I am. So this is town A, this is town B, okay? 
If these are both north lines, what do I know about those lines? They're parallel, excellent. So that means these are parallel lines. That gives us extra information about these two angles. What do these two angles have to add up to? Good, so they add to 180 degrees. Does anyone remember the name for what they are? Corresponding alternate interior angles. Co-interior. Oh, interior. Good. <laughs> we guessed every other type before we got there, but sure. All right. These are co-interior angles, so they will always add to 180. Remember these angles? Right? That's what's going on. It's just sideways. Right? So these two angles must add to 180 because they're inside the same space. Same with these two over here. They must add to 180 because they're inside the same space. That's what's going on here. It's just sideways. So if I told you, let's pick a color we haven't used yet. So if I told you that this angle here was 100 degrees, what's this angle here? Right, it's got to be 80. Now, the bearing from A to B is 100 degrees. Okay, we go from A, whoa. We always start from the north and we always go clockwise. So is this bearing 80? No. We have to go clockwise. So if I'm going from B to A, I actually want this angle, right? 280, right? So what we're always doing is going from the north and we're going clockwise, right? Let's do another example of that. Okay, this is A. This is actually, let's use different letters because I've already used those. This is C to D. All right, so if I told you that this was 82 degrees. All right, so the bearing of C to D is 82 degrees. See how I've got the zero at the front? You must use three numbers. So what does that make this angle in here? 98, excellent. So what is the bearing of D to C? What? what? How are we doing it? 252? Do we agree with this? Ah, there we go. Good. 262. Okay. So that is this angle here. How many degrees are in a circle? 360. So all we're doing is 360 minus 98. So 360 minus 100 is 260. Minus another, or add another two, right? Because you need two more. That's the easiest way to do it. So we're always going clockwise. We're always going from the north, All right? Let's do another one where I give you the external angle first. All right, so if I tell you that this is 304. All right, I want the bearing of A to B. So what information should I start with? This? Yeah. Okay, so this bit is 56. So then what? Right, so these have to add to 180. So I just subtract 180 from 56 or other way around. 180, yeah, 180 minus 56 gives me 124. All right, so it's always important that you make sure that you're going clockwise every time we go clockwise. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you? Okay, the other thing that you're doing today is scale drawings, right? So that's relatively easy, which means you need what? A ruler. Excellent. So what if... Okay, what if I tell you... Let's just do an example of that. What do we need to do for... Scale drawings. What skill do we need? Uh, okay, you, you write in all of those, but it's not the word I'm looking for. Starts with R. Ratios. All right. So if I said that the scale is 1 to 30, if I said the scale is 1 to 30, am I talking, do I need to specify whether I'm in centimeters, meters, yeah. kilometers? No, I do not. Oh. This is the same for everything. It's 
millimeters and its centimeters and its kilometers and its millimeters, right? I already said that one. Um, it doesn't matter. It's the same. As long as you're going from one unit at whatever it is to 30 of the same thing, that's all they mean. The whole point of ratios is there's no unit of measurement. If I write one centimeter to one kilometer, that's not a ratio, right? I need to put these in the same unit of measurement. So what would I write? Okay, that's not why I was staring at you. But most of you gave it to me backwards. Most of you said it was one to a hundred thousand. It's a hundred thousand and one. There are a hundred thousand centimeters in one kilometer. If somebody said it, I didn't hear them. Most of you did it backwards. This is the big one, right? A lot of centimeters is one kilometer. Do you get what I'm saying? All right, so make sure you do it the right way around. So let's say, for example, I give you the ratio one to 30. If I said that uh, now I've got a drawing. So let's say that this is the map and this is real life, right? So I'm giving you an actual scale of map drawings to real life stuff, right? So if I said the drawing was 20 centimeters, how big is it in real life? 20 centimeters. <laughs> okay. How did you get that? So what we're doing, let me get another color. How do we get from that to this? So how do I get from that to this? Okay. So ratios, whatever you do to one side, it's like equivalent fractions. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. So if the drawing was 20 centimeters, it should be 60, 600 centimeters, which is six meters in real life. You get what I'm doing? Okay, so you are going to be asked for some of this stuff. Uh, one more thing, how many degrees are in a triangle? One Good, okay, so you're going to need that knowledge today as well. All right, you are doing a fair bit of work today. I know, life's terrible. Um, but it's actually all pretty easy. That's why I'm jamming it all in one thing. <laughs>